What this bill does is codifies a worldview that says if you are healthy or wealthy, there's one system that is set aside for you. If you are not, if you are sick, if you have a child that is sick, if somebody is born with a, a pediatric cancer, if somebody is born with a pre-existing condition, if something happens to you over the course of your life, if because of, of a lack of luck or misfortune or, or some other incident that happens to you, uh, you don't have access to the, to the funds, you don't have access to the resources, you are on your own. And that's one way of thinking about healthcare in this country. What that misses is the fact that uniquely in that system, that is, healthcare is something that all of us are going to draw on, whether you're welcoming a new child into this world or watching a loved one pass through it, that at some point, each and every American family is going to want to make sure that there's protections for a new child or an aging and elderly parent. And that not only should we make that commitment to each other because morally it's the right thing to do, it's the humane thing to do, it's a way that we ensure the dignity of every single American to care for one another, but because at some point we're going to need that same care and dignity as well, and it's going to be cheaper and better and make us stronger as a nation if we are willing to make that investment.